Hey, what's going on? What is popping? My name is Efe Goodseed and welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and in, how to use the interactive field tool in Corel Draw. All right, this is uh, a beginner's to pro class for Corel Draw series. I've been doing in this channel, and um, if you are new to Corel Draw, you might want to watch some of my other videos that I talked about how to get used to Corel Draw, how to get used to the Corel Draw interface and, this, and some other stuff in this channel. So um, for this, I'm going to be showing you how to use the interactive field to in Corel Draw. All right. So, all right. So basically, so in Corel Draw, we have what we call an outline. And we have the interactive field. Did I get this correctly? All right, outline. The outline and interactive. To check this out, to know more about this, I'm going to create an object now, then I'm going to use these objects to describe both of them. So by default, when you create any object in CorelDRAW, it comes with an outline. The outline is what you see here. This is what I call the outline. All right. So you create an interactive field. The object that you just created, to create an interactive field, you have to add a color from the color palette of your choice. So this is exactly how you create an interactive field. But the tool that is responsible for creating interactive field, uh, there are three sections that you can use to create an interactive field. So that you are using the color palette, basically, you are using the status bar interactive um, icon there. Just double, double click on it, and it gives you option of. Or you click on the main tool itself. Look at the interactive field tool itself, and when you right, right click on that tool, you are going to see other options. Of field. So when you click on the interactive field, the color by default that it will be showing you is the color that you that the, the previous color that you chose. You can choose any of those color now. You can. So basically, interactive field is already is already activated there. So to add interactive field to this very object. Now, so you see, okay. So, but this is an outline. We are going to talk about an outline later, but we are just focusing in interactive field. So, let's look at the options that we have. Let's look at all the options that we have on the interactive field. When you click on interact, we have the no field which takes the color out. We have the main interactive field, which gives you the color, and you can pick any of the colors that you want. Then we have the radiant field, or, or the fountain field. The fountain field is a color where you have two colors in a gradient form. Two colors merging together in a gradient form. By default, when you when you click on it, you will drag it, and this is how it appears. So you might want to give this color, this this section, this side, another color, and give this side anywhere you click, you can give it two different colors. So this is what the fountain feel looks like. This is what you can do with the fountain feel. So, so after the fountain feel, we have what they call the vector pattern feel. If you click on it right now. By default, it already have a vector pattern field that you that uh, it's already on ground. By default, these are the option of vector field that is here, and it can be adjusted. A vector field can be adjusted, and you can create your own vector field. I'm going to be showing you in another video how to create your own vector field for Corel Draw. Okay. Let me take out the outline now. 
So this is a vector field. And what, what I mean by vector field is that when you click on the object, you zoom in, you find that it's not, it's not pixelated in any way. Okay, these are vector objects that were saved and that were created in Corel Draw. Okay, so let's click, let's check on the other option. Then we have the bitmap field. The bitmap field are objects, pictures that you save and you create and you, you save and you import into Corel Draw. Then we have the two pattern, two color pattern field. You know, this you can adjust and adjust, make all the adjustments that you want. You know, you can create your own two pattern feel here. You create your own two pattern feel. So these are the these are these are the possibilities of the interactive uh, feel too. Okay. So when we have the texture field, we have the texture field, there are options, you can create, take any option, there are samples, create your own, okay, you can just play around with it, you will, uh, you will do well mastering and playing around with it than even me telling you how to use it okay so then the last but not the least is the post script field okay so post script field they are and all these fields few uh, preset field from vector pattern field to post script field they are things that you can create and Create by yourself. The postscript field uh, uh, stuff that you can adjust with. For example, look at it now. Creating a pattern. Basically, that is it. That is it. Then, when you click on the the vet interactive field, too, you will also see a smart field. That smart field, there is a way to use it. For example, I create a star here in this object. I can use the smart field to, to distinguish or to create few colors that intersect with the main object. Let me show you what I mean by this. So if I click on that section now and see what, what happened. All right, so this is what you use the smart, the smart field to to achieve so I just do this take out the lines and we are good it just helps you cut through objects so the last among that option is the mesh tool mesh tool is one awesome tool that you need to practice with uh, not very many people use that tool, but it's a great tool also, the mesh field. What it does is that it can give you, you can use it to create some special effect. For example, this is it. You can use it to create effects, like just like you are coloring. And you can even add different nodes and give and color the mesh tool just the way an artist that want to paint will do and add any color that you want and even drag and and 
modify all these nodes to achieve different effects. So this is it basically. So this is all for the interactive, um, the, the interactive feed to um, one thing that you can, I can assure you is that the more you practice with this tool, the better you are and the better, the better you become with it. So just get ahead and practice with it and let me know what you think. If you like this video, please do well to, if this video has been helpful to you, please do well to like and subscribe. If you are new to this channel, thank you.